Hey guys, this is Allison. Welcome or welcome back to another video. Today's video is a collaboration with Bunny Buns Boutique on Etsy and Pinterest. They sell custom stickers, bunny treats, and bunny cards on their Etsy shop. And on their Pinterest, they post cute bunny videos and they save a lot of cute bunny setups too. So the topic that we're both going to be talking about is how to make your bunny enclosure aesthetically pleasing. Now this seems to be a hard topic for a lot of people because typically when you think of rabbit enclosures or rabbit rooms, you'll think of something like this. And meanwhile, while these are great for your rabbit, these aren't really the most aesthetically pleasing. They don't really have a color scheme, they don't look very nice and tidy, and this is why we made this video to try and help you make it more aesthetic. So I'm just going to be sharing a few tips in my video, and in their video, they're also going to be sharing a few tips too. So my first tip is to find a theme and stick to it. Whether your color palette is based on a mainstream popular aesthetic such as indie or a holiday like Christmas, make sure to stick with what you choose. Adding in other colors make the item look out of place, make the overall theme not as cohesive. Including neutral colors and whites is also a good idea to tie everything together and, if you plan to do multiple different aesthetic over a period of time, you can reuse them for many different ones. If you need a pen since you can't free room, choose pens that will match as well. I recommend using white CNC grids, plastic panel CNC grids, or there's also dog X pens that come in white colors or dog crates that come in white, which will usually match a lot better for most aesthetics. Unless you're going for a dark theme, then you can use black ones, but I find white ones would probably match better with most sinks. Now my second tip is to clean often. All the bunny rooms or bunny enclosures you see online aren't just aesthetic looking all the time. Chances are, the rabbits are just like yours, getting messes everywhere. Spot cleaning twice a day, vacuuming, and using air purifier will help greatly with this. Another thing to do is make sure that your rabbit is properly litter trained and spayed or neutered because then it will just make the entire area look overall tidier. My third tip is to look outside of the small pet aisle. Even though pet stores sometimes sell things that, for rabbits that will both be enriching and nice to look at, it's rare to find things with both of these qualities. I suggest looking in the dog or cat aisle because often you'll be able to find things that will blend in with your furniture more, such as cute beds or a cat tree. My fourth tip is to repurpose human items, since human items are usually way more visually appealing. You can also save a lot of money by doing this because pet items tend to be extremely expensive. For example, if you find a pretty bowl, you can use that for water. If you find a nice container, you can use it as a litter box or even a dig box. You can also use things like side tables to make hideouts that will blend into your home decor, which is super important, especially if you have a free roam rabbit. Some tables that you can use include the IKEA Lac and the IKEA Linmon, and if you just drape a sheet over for your bunny to have a little more privacy and also some traction if they choose to jump on top, then that will make a great hideout and it can blend into your home decor as a side table. Now, my fifth idea is to shop small. A lot of small businesses or Etsy shops sell things for rabbits that you could use. For example, if you have a neutral tone color palette, you might want to check out Cozy's Castles and Toki Hut. Meanwhile, if you're going for more of a boho aesthetic, check out Little Beast Treats and Wags and Whiskers Co. Other shops like The Pig Room, Biddle's Boutique Shop, and This Is HBS sell things with a lot of different prints, so no matter which aesthetic you're going for, you can always find something. My sixth and last tip is to DIY. You can make whatever fits your aesthetic this way. You can shop at places like Walmart or Joanne's Fabric for materials to use to sew items like pen liners, bed, fleece floors, or tiles. At Home Depot and similar stores, you can get wood to DIY things however you want. Pet safe paints such as Crayola Kids Paints are also great, but if your bunnies chew things, of course, then I'd suggest avoiding it. Now, with all the tips done, just a reminder, no matter how aesthetic you want it to be, make sure that it's still an enriching setup for your rabbit. You want at least one more hideout than you have per rabbit and multiple digging, foraging, throwing, chewing, and hiding toys. So this will be it for today's video. I hope you got some inspiration on how to make your rabbit enclosure look a little more aesthetic from this. And if you did, be sure to check out Bunny Bun's boutique video over on their Pinterest as well. And I'll see you guys soon in a new video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day or night. This is it for now. Bye.